friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 20th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, and as well, welcome to spring. That's right, first day of spring, March 20th, 2023. Having a look here at the last 48 hours of images of our sun. Not much to talk about since yesterday, except for an M-class solar flare coming from that bright bottom left-hand region and as well some activity in the northern hemisphere as well the last few images look in the last 48 hours incoming looking at the most active sunspot region there on the left-hand side that's where the m-class solar flare was produced looking at outgoing with a little earth to scale size comparison large plasma filament did produce a cme Heading towards our way. Stay tuned. Give you a glimpse shortly. Having a look at multi-spectrum. This is where we can see the last 48 hours of events. As well, a very deepening coronal black hole in the southern hemisphere. That is something to watch. As it will increase our solar wind speeds over the next 36. Well, 24 to 36 hours cooled regions on our sun produce an intense solar wind stream towards us. Earth-facing view right now and growing. 171 angstroms here. Notice top left-hand side, last few images, a little minor filament eruption right there. Having a look at the sunspot regions, we got two of them in coupled here in the bottom left, but there are all the active spots. Geomagnetic activity, we're sitting at an R1 minor radio blackout could be detected. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range today after jumping up to an M-class solar flare today. And as well, a couple elongated C-class flares. Solar proton flux, slightly elevated. Geomagnetic activity, Hopped up to KP of 4 today. Having a look at real-time solar wind. Sitting at about 430 kilometers per second. Very static today and staying in the 400 range. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing yesterday's CME heading out towards Venus, which is that green circle. And then here is that large CME blown away from the southern hemisphere of our sun, set to give us a glancing blow 23rd into the 24th. So two to three days as well at the same time as our coronal hole wind stream. Having a look at Alaska 2, the last 48 hours of events, shooting away from our sun, bright object in the bottom there, that is Mercury. We've had quite strong CMEs, over the few over the last few days and I've been documenting the dense plasma filament eruptions amazing stuff as, as we are now into spring and as well my mother's birthday and daily events worldwide birthday I've been broadcasting for 6 years today Schumann resonance for today is a power of 22 after being up very strong resonance yesterday have a quick look at the telemetry here. Amplitude of 22, quality of 8.4, frequency max 7.3, power of 11. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still sitting slightly below average. And we've seen some deep movements over the past week and even some more deep movements today. Having a look at Japan, this has been the most active for four pointers. Central and northward from the Izu Islands in Japan. 4.9 ranging to 4.4. As well, Eastern Russia reporting a 5.0. Philippines today, deepest earthquake on the planet. Litayan, Philippines, 592 kilometer depth. I really hope something larger doesn't come to that region, but it's quite possible. As well, Wallace and Fortuna reporting 4.3. Over 300 kilometer depth and New Zealand still with a 4.1. Many earthquakes this past week. Overlooking Hawaii, largest through the region was a 3.0, but nothing major to report. 
Alaska reporting that 5.4 yesterday. No major swarms through Alaska region, but the Aleutian Islands, we're going to look at that at the end here. Having a look over the United States, Seven Trees, California, 3.0 earthquake. No swarms to talk about across North American plate. And semi-quiet through Puerto Rico today, largest being a 3.5. Peru seeing a 4.7 and a 4.3 in Erica, Chile. And South Sandwich Islands reporting a 5.1 magnitude, 133 kilometer depth north South Sandwich Islands. Arcani, Romania reporting a 4.9 today and as well Turkey, yet another aftershock 4.1 there and a 4.1 in Iran, 4.5 there, Tajikistan. And then this is something I wanted to note out here as we've seen a lot of activity recently through Alaska. We're going to look at the last seven days first across the world. Now, last week we had talked about the Tanaga volcano and the Takawanga volcano in the Aleutian Islands towards Attu Station, western Aleutian Islands. Largest earthquake this week has been the 6.8 Peru, or sorry, Ecuador, and then definitely want to share here all of the earthquakes that have been happening across the Aleutian Islands towards the Tanaga volcano and the Takawanga, and the Tanaga volcano was raised to yellow alert level advisory. Look at all these earthquakes. This is the past 11 days, and there are thousands. So heads up, stay aware, prepared. We're going to be keeping you updated on the SO2 emissions across the Northern Hemisphere, keeping track on possible ash clouds coming out of Tanaga and anywhere along the Aleutian Islands. That was the last seven days for earthquakes. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world. Also noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated. We've got Santa Maria in Guatemala, Fuego in Guatemala, Many flood alerts here, 190 active hazards. Sangay in Ecuador. Reventador in Ecuador. Dakono in Indonesia. Popopiquetito in Mexico. As well, Semeru, Indonesia. Sabancaya in Peru. Ibu, Indonesia. Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. Shevelich in Russia. That's all in the last 10 hours. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. So 11 volcanoes, 12 with Cotopaxi and ERA. 13 volcanoes getting updated today out of the 47 that are active and erupting across the world. Having a look here at satellite imagery. Pretty strong system there over northern Africa. Atmospheric rivers across the Pacific, in the South and the North. California still seeing a lot of moisture. Australia, a couple systems there bombarding the Northern Territories. Overlooking the rest of the world, tightly whipped low pressure system leaving the Mediterranean. And then North Africa, that big system getting ready to head into the Mediterranean. Very stormy conditions with that. So possible extreme weather event happening, North Africa, and as well, lots of moisture, long line of moisture heading through Southern Africa. Having a look here at windy.com, showing forecast models here for the next seven days, big low pressure system off the Atlantic coast, and as well, a low pressure heading through the Pacific Northwest. Watch for that to scoot out into Eastern Canada by Wednesday, Thursday. Sucking up a lot of gulf moisture here. So rain for Ontario. And then watch for a later winter storm. 24th into the 26th. Ontario could see upwards about 5 to 10 centimeters. But we'll see a lot of rain ahead of time. 
intense low pressure system coming through California this week will be producing that storm. Watch for extreme weather through the Gulf states, southeastern United States, as that system roars into Quebec and Atlantic Canada. Quick look here at snowfall totals for the next 10 days. Atlantic provinces could see upwards of 120 centimeters over the next 10 days. Northern Ontario, northeastern United States, about 40 centimeters of snow. Colorado could see 100 centimeters of snow. And higher elevations through California, Oregon, and Washington. Winter's not over yet. But happy spring and welcome to it. Spring 2023. Having a look over South America and Africa, we've got a pretty tightly whipped low pressure system here spinning over western Brazil. Watch for that to spark extreme weather through Bolivia and Peru this week. And in, then into Argentina later in the week. Overlooking Africa and Europe. Daily evaporation rains through Africa. Could be heavy at times through Nigeria, Thursday into Friday. And then lots of moisture heading into parts of Europe, the United Kingdom, as forecasted yesterday. More detailed forecast if you would like to see. Check out yesterday's update. Quick look here at the rest of the Pacific and Australia, Southeast Asia. No major cyclones or typhoons developing, but pretty strong system north of Hawaii. Heads up. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.